scope of this project was one of the largest of the last 20 years in the pipeline industry. Oh, it's huge. I couldn't even begin to imagine how many guys are actually out here. I've never seen this much pipeline in all the years that I've been doing this. It was over 800 kilometers of pipeline, over a dozen facilities. This entire project took over two and a half years from design until the end of construction. We've done over 8 million hours now. This project will be remembered for our safety leadership initiative. Everybody's doing their job and nobody gets hurt and everybody goes home safe. We're more productive and we're better on the bottom line when we are safe. Our safety statistics are definitely tops in the industry. Brings in good contractors when you see that emphasis on safety, emphasis on quality. One of the key to success is getting the right people on board. We really aligned ourselves with some of the leaders in the industries and they have an immense amount of knowledge within those companies. Our approach was to embrace cutting edge technology. Whatever we can do to get things done quicker and more efficiently, and that's what we want to do. All teamwork. One person don't get it, everybody gets it. That's how you get productivity, that's how you keep costs low, and that's how you end up meeting your schedule. We worked with Alberta Environment Sustainable Resource Development to come up with some innovative ways to narrow our construction footprint. Working together as a team and solving these problems is better than us just standing back saying, no, that's not right. We're in an area here where there is lots of oil field activity. By and large, people are, are quite open to a project. We know the fences will be put back, grass is sown, and we know that it'll all be fine in the end. The pipe goes through these farmers' fields and we need to ensure that they're able to continue on with their livelihood. I'm proud for an IPL to be doing what they are doing. Everything is doing right way, perfect way. They're in to build something that's going to last and that's going to service our country. Everyone's really pulled up their socks and worked hard. We have a lot to be proud of these days. It bodes very well for the future. We'll be able to leverage that into future projects and get better and better results.